um, happy Friday. It is, uh, it's Friday. Um, I have a new ink to share with you and it's new and hot, hot. Um, and let's, we're gonna do some writing with it. So it is the new Mont Blanc Writer's Edition, homage to Arthur Conan Doyle, Scarlet Red. I really wish they would have shorter names, but I remembered it and I said it for you. And that's the first and last time. So we have this, they have this new style or new, I mean, it's the same bottle. It's like 50, the 50 mil special edition, um, but a different style of uh, uh, scriptography. What decoration, packaging, design. It's very cool. It's like old apothecary type thing. I like it. I think it's neat. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's not another blue. It is not. It's a red, another red, but that's okay. I spilled some ink, whatever. We're going to move that. The 50 mil bottle is this one. Very cool. And I've already inked two pens. So let me do a little smear. So while we are writing with the ink, we can let this dry. And so while that dries and we're writing, then we can come and check out what the behavior of this ink is like. I was very excited to try it because I don't, really use red ink a lot except for corn poppy red and because they don't make corn poppy red anymore which is just awful um i'm kind of on the hunt for like a new one so let's see how this one goes of course it's very annoying that it is a special edition but at least it's not one of the ridiculous elixirs that cost what is it like a hundred canadian dollars per bottle right now so gross. So I have two pens inked. One is an extra fine to make all you people happies that like fine nibs and writing with a fine nib. So let's do some writing. Hmm. Actually very nice. I mean, not that I'm surprised, but Sometimes reds can be like pink or they can be orange or like brownish. This one is a really nice red. And I bought this with my own pennies. So maybe that helps. I actually bought it before even seeing it. Homage to... Arthur Conan Doyle Scarlet Red. What an, a beautiful red. The red of the special edition is inspired by the novel A Study in Scarlet, which marks the first appearance of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. So that is, that is that. And now I also have a more me nib, although this one is quite me as well. This one is a coarse nib. Oh, very nice. Like all reds, it's a touch on the dry side, but I think that's because of the the dyes to make the red. Um, but it's running just fine in this very wet writer. This is very corn poppy reddish. So I'm pretty happy about this so far. I do have some swabs that we can look at to compare to some others. So while this dries, let's take a look at these swabs. Okay, so. This is the swab I made for this ink. Um, decent shading. The sheen is red, but it's not super sheeny, which is great if you're not really into sheen. I don't 
really care for sheen on red inks because it I find because the reds are already quite saturated and a touch dry that sheen just makes them too dry so I, I like this level of sheen slash no sheen so there is that we have okay all this is drying so I'm just gonna pull this out of the way so it can continue to dry ah! Ah! so much stuff sorry my boxes are falling so there is that um, the next one that I really want to compare it to of course is the corn poppy red okay so it's a little browner than corn poppy red like more scarlet shockingly um, corn poppy is much is, is brighter but I'm still happy with it. The new Modena Red, Modena Red is very pink, so I actually don't care for it. And that's what they have replaced the corn poppy with. Um, here's a disgusting swab of my uh, Red Fox, the Petit Prince, which is much more orange, although closer, I think, than the corn poppy. What do you think? Unfortunately, I don't have the Hitchcock Red the sad and these are the other reds that I have from Mont Blanc so the love letters from 2004 long gone um, the I got to redo this swab because it's not the same style but this one is got a bit more brown than the scarlet red so I actually don't think any of these are a, a really that close of a match so if you're looking for a red and you're like oh I have too many reds it's it's a nice red. I think it's a good red. And it's Mont Blanc, so, you know, it's going to be costly, but whatever. How many bottles of ink have you realistically used up? And if we think about it, um, I'm okay. ignoring me because I've used up a lot. Um, it's a $50 bottle, 50 Canadian plus tax. And... I have quite a few of these types of bottles, like the special editions, and I haven't used up a whole lot of them. And I do use the inks quite regularly. So let me do some ink washing. Let's just see what's going on in this ink. I mean, let me get some more water in there a bit of water resistance like actually not bad there's a little bit of resistance there if the ink is wet enough like if you've applied enough ink onto that writing like the smaller lines here have disappeared but these thicker lines are still they're still visible they're not the right color anymore but that's okay and if we do this, it's definitely a very, <laughs> a very bloody ink. So I don't know if you've seen my swab on Instagram. Um, I asked, I asked you guys to suggest some names. Like what, what would you name this aside from Scarlet Red? So if you want to join in on the fun, check it out on Instagram. It is the most recent Scarlet swab and you can suggest your gruesome ink name which will be kind of fun so let's just dry this off just to see i think this is a very lovely red i'm pretty happy with it um yeah so let's let me just bring this up a little closer so we can take a look it's still drying uh drying time's actually not that bad i mean this is very wet it's got some shading. I'm pretty happy with it. This is Tomoe River paper. What do you guys think? Let me know. Is this the kind of red that floats your boat? Rocks your veins? Gets your arteries pumping? Makes your heart race? Alrighty. Yeah, pretty cool. So I used a coarse nib and an extra fine Pelican, like the old nibs that are a little flexy. Absolutely lovely. I'm really excited to use this ink more and not worry about 
my corn poppies so much because I think they're pretty close in the way that I use them. So of course in swab form you see a lot more differences, but this way it's not, it's not too terribly different. So, pretty cool. <clears throat> well, everybody, that's it. <coughs> Sorry. That's it for the inking. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. And if you want to support me on my journey or have special requests and stuff, you can find me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to hearing your ideas on what you would call this ink because so far it's been pretty fun. Um, heart, heart, like, like, love, love. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. We will see you in the next video, which will be next week. Bye. Bye.